Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and now I'm gonna be showing these frosty flowers earrings. I'm making them because today is a Christmas in July and I decided to do something different for the summer. Not only sunny colors, but maybe you need some icy colors to feel better in this heat that is outside, at least in my country. So if you enjoy what I'm doing here, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you don't want to listen through this intro, you could definitely skip it because I have timestamps but I just have a few words to say. The beads that I'm using here are from the collections of Beading School by Erica Sandor that she was so nice to send me and down there you will find unboxing videos of her collections link to her website where you could buy the beads from and full list of materials where I'm explaining the colors and the bead shapes and the exact numbers okay down there you will also find a link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you for listening me through this intro. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are beads from the collection of Beading School by Erica Sandor and I'll give links down there to their website so you could check those beads out. By the way, you could buy them definitely from other places, so uh, it's just a recommendation from my side. So uh, what I'm using are these gem dual or diamond dual beads that are 8 by 5 millimeters and have two holes. The color is silver splash white. I will give everything in description. Then I'm using these 4 millimeter bicones. They are, the brand is Preciosa and they are crystallite opal as a color. Then I'm using this 6 millimeter Preciosa round pearls that are pearlescent gray. And these are two colors of Delica beads. Mayuki Delica beads, the size is 11.0 and the green color is 23.13 and the grey color Labrador Mated also called is 22.04. Okay, you will have them in description as well. Okay, here I use monofilament, you could definitely use Fireline for this project and I also use these 17mm lever bags uh, again from the website of Beading School by Erica Sandor and here I use size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12, it's up to you and these are scissors and the pliers are not obligatory just if you need to go through the difficult beads okay and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I'm going to start adding this gem do or also called diamond do on my needle and just uh, to show you they have sides, this side is absolutely flat and at this side they have something like an edge sticking out. So I will take them in one direction with this uh, edge, okay? Then what I do is take this grey color of Delica beads, then again another bead in the same direction with the edge sticking out, then again a seed bead, then again a diamond dual, then again a seed bead, then again a diamond dual, then again a seed bead and a diamond dual and a seed bead and again a diamond dual turned in the right direction okay and now you see I have six diamond dual and five seed beads 
and I'm going to take my sixth seed bead. So I'm alternating six diamond do and six eleven o Mayuki delicate beads. Okay, so now I will stick my needle in my mat. And what I want to do here is make a knot. And how I make it, I just make a loop and I go twice through this loop I've made. And then I pull. And then I'm going to do one more knot. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Okay. So this will be the front part of my earring because here is this edge that I was talking about of the diamond doors. And here from this side, they are absolutely flat. I would like the front part to have more volume. That is why I'm arranging them like this. And you could definitely go and reinforce this part here. Okay, and when you feel that everything is nice, tight and secure, as you're exiting from the inner hole of this bead, it's time to go through its outer hole, that which is empty. Okay, and now what I'm going to take is a green delica, one of those crystallite opal 4mm bicons and a green delica you could definitely use different colors and different brands if you want okay so now i'm going like this then again i'm taking a green a bicon and a green and i'm going here in this empty hole of my following Diamond dual bead. I'll show you one more time. And then I will continue faster. Okay guys, now I have this and from here on guys, I'm going here through this green one like this and I'm going to be picking up five of this gray color. Okay, five of them. Five. And as I'm exiting from this green, I'm skipping the bicon and I'm going through the other green. Okay, and I'm also going through the diamond do and through the next green. Okay, now I have this. And as I'm exiting here through this green, you see where I'm exiting. I'm going to pick up five more gray beads. Okay, five of them again. I will be adding five until the end. And I skip the bicon and go through the next green, then through the diamond do and through the following green. You could do this in one or in two movements. It's up to you. But in this way, I save time. Okay, then again, five. Okay, five. And I go 
here in the next screen in the diamond duel and in this green after that okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last five beads from this row okay and what i want to do is go here in this direction some more okay you see where i'm going and i also go here okay you see where i am I am two beads away from this diamond duel. These beads are gray and green and I'm here. Now what I do is that I take one green, one pearl six millimeter and one green. Okay. Now as I'm exiting here, what I want to do is go in the same place but here. So I'm counting one, two beads away from this diamond duel. And I'm going again through the next three. Okay, now I have this. Then again, a green, a pearl, and a green. And I'm skipping these two after the diamond duel. You see, one, two after the diamond duel. And I'm going through the next one, two, three. Okay. Then again, a green, a pearl, and a green. Skip one, two. And go through the three top gray beads. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end. Okay guys, now I have this. And what I want to do next is go and reinforce this row. My thread is not very thick, that is why I prefer to go here. One more time around those beads and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I just reinforced this row and I'm exiting out of this pearl, you see. Now what I want to do is go through the bead after that, which is the bead in the green color. And then I'm going to take one of those diamond dos and pay attention the edge of this gem do or diamond do is in this direction where the other beads uh, are arranged with the edge popping out. Okay. And I'm going through one of its empty holes after exiting out of the green, going in one of its empty holes. And I'm going to take five. Okay. Five. And as I slide this one down, I'm going through its other empty hole in this direction. You see how my thread is going from one of the holes of the gem duel and then through the other one. And I pull it to the center of my work. And then where this thread goes, maybe you can guess here in this green bead. So my thread 
is going from this green, from one of the holes of the gem dual, five beads, and then through the other hole and here. Now uh, I will repeat this again, going through the pearl and through the following green bead. Then I'm taking one gem dual. I'm going here through one of its holes. And then I'm going to take five greens. Okay, five of them. Then as I'm exiting here, I'm going through its other empty hole in this direction. And pull to the center, okay? Green bead, this hole of the gem dual, five beads, this hole of the gem dual, and this green bead here. Okay. I will be showing this one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Take one. Go here through one of its holes. Take five. Go through its other hole. And then directly go through the red, uh, through the green bead, sorry. Then from here on, guys, everything repeats. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat this part from here. It's absolutely the same. And when you're ready, meet me here in a while. And now I'm here at my last step where my diamond do is already added and I take my five and go through the other empty hole of the bead and I pull and now guys I'm going to do again a reinforcement of this row what I want to do is go around through those newly added beads and when I go one more time around them, they won't move up and down, but they will stay in a perfect shape. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and after reinforcing, I'm here. And what I want to do is go through these three beads. Then I'm going to take my earring finding. And you see, because these diamond dual beads, they pop up from this side, I mean their edge is from this side and their flat side is from this side. I choose this to be the front part of my earring. So what I want to do is attach my earring finding like this in this direction because here is the back. And how I do this, I, I take one gray bead, I go through the earring finding. By the way, I'm here in the center exiting out of the central green bead you see this is the central one two one two in the other directions okay now i slide those down take one and go back through this central bead in circle and now i have this earring finding attached by the way, if this earring finding is open here, use your pliers to connect this wire jump ring and because otherwise uh, the thread will go out. Okay, and now I'm reinforcing several times. Okay, and after I feel it's all tight and secure, I will go in this direction and find a place to make a knot. Okay. Now 
let's say I'm making my knot here but I'm going to turn my work in this direction from the back side now uh, what I do to make a knot is go here under this thread and make a loop and then I will go once and then I will go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and I could repeat this knot several times when I'm ready I'm going through the following seed beads and I'm cutting my thread I don't want to cut next to a knot but I first go through the following seed beads okay and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my Christmas in July frosty flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you could find links to similar videos also to a collection openings and you could see all of those beads in Erica Sandor's collections and uh, you will find also a link to their website. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice Christmas in July. Bye bye from me.